Libra, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson. Welcome to Jen Two. <laughs> All right, Libra. Sorry, I'm in a pretty good mood today. All right, Libra. No communication. Let's have a look at it. So there's no communication for my dear Libras. What are we going to do about it? Let's have a look. Let's ask the cards. Let's ask the universe. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There is also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. You have to come to my website to book a private reading. That's the only way you can get it. People are getting scammed at the moment. And there's people in the comments saying, hey, I'm Jen. Like, here's my WhatsApp. I'll do you a reading. That's not me. A lot of channels are getting this. People scamming them. And I don't want you to get scammed. The only way you can get a reading from me is if you go to gentvtarot.com and book it. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Anyway, Libra, no communication. What's going on with that? Give us some advice, uh, universe. I say yours because, you know, I'm a Libra too. All right. This is gonna end soon. Oh yeah! <laughs> okay, so the overall vibe we've got temperance in reverse. And the cause of that being the uh, three of wands. I always get stuck on the word wands. I'm like, stick. Yeah. <laughs> This is kind of like uh, the overall vibe here is like, what's, the, what's that? It doesn't make any sense because in one way it's saying this has no direction and the other way it's saying this is totally the direction. It's like, what? None of this makes any sense is what this reading is trying to say. You've got no communication with this person. It makes no sense. You being in love with this person or them being in love with you. It makes no sense. None of it makes any sense. Why? Why would this be a thing? It's it's crazy that you would even fall in love with each other in the first place. And then it makes absolutely no sense that you wouldn't be together because, oh my God, you're in love with each other. This is kind of, wait, it's, uh, it's all crazy. Tell me about it in the comments below. You know I love it. There's no communication. Absolutely none. And this is what you need to know right now. So that little cup of love that's coming out of the clouds there. This is, what is this? This whole connection that makes absolutely no sense has come from the universe. This is why this is why it's crazy. It makes no sense because this is like soul deep. This is like you guys are meant to be. You're on your soul partners or or twin flames or whatever, soul family, something where you're on a journey through this universe together. And the universe is there going, here you go, Libra's love interest. Here, you, Here's this love. And Libra's love interest is going, I've got these three of the cups here. And uh, kind of look at that hill over there. Whoa, the grass looks pretty green over there. I don't know. I'm, I, I just, ooh, that cup looks good. Those cups are great. That's great. Oh, God, what do I do? Oh, dear, your job bedtime. Oh, yeah. This person's confused. Because none of this makes any sense. Tell me more. <sighs> the 
so when you guys kind of met, like lightning bolts, wow, this is your person, oh my god, none of this makes any sense though, maybe, you know, Maybe you guys live too far away. Maybe there's a huge age difference being the twin flame connection. Maybe you you guys are from different backgrounds, different cultures. Maybe you've been straight your entire life and this is somebody who's the same gender as you and you're like, wait, what? I'm, I'm gay all of a sudden? What? It makes no sense to you because you've been straight your whole life and then all of a sudden you've fallen absolutely head over heels in love with somebody that, you know, it could be any of these things. None of this makes sense to you. Tell me, please tell me in the comments below. I, I love this reading already. This is fantastic. I'm all in. This person, when you met, they were not ready. They were going about their, oh yeah, totally. I hadn't even looked at this when I started talking. They were going about their life unhappily. I sort of feel like with the King of Cups in reverse here, I kind of feel like they were pretty unhappy in their connection that they were in wanting to escape it wanting to wanting to walk away from it and you coming along was like whoa you're amazing you're oh, like there let's talk let's let's uh let's get to know each other so you get to know each other Oh, I'll just completely ghost you now, because because uh, this makes no sense, and this is what you're feeling: loss and loneliness. And what do I do with this? I've this is what you're thinking. You you had this amazing connection with this person that completely made no sense, but now because of this connection, them not talking to you, because you know in your bones that they feel the same way. Why? why? I don't get it. And there's no closure, there's no answers. There's, there's, they're not giving you anything, so you don't know. So it makes no sense. Mm, broken heart, there you go. A little bit more. For what Libra needs to know right now. It's getting good, guys. <laughs> this is a nice reading. Indecision. This is what's going on with them right now. They don't know what to do. I think for a while there, they might have been asking their friends about, what do I do with this whole Libra thing? Wow, Libra's amazing, but geez, Jack, whoa, it makes no sense. It's crazy. Their friends are like, oh, just don't talk to them. Because, you know, you got all this other stuff going on. Okay. Their friends are idiots. And I have to say, what's coming up here is that they are not talking to you, but they're heartbroken not talking to you. It's killing them. feel trapped. Oh, with this, the, the heart chakra there, it's, uh, it, it aches deep in them, in their physical bones and in like their spiritual being, they, they ache. It's hard for them. They're taking some pretty bad advice, I'm gonna be honest here. They got some stupid friends. Petty friends, because you know what? I feel like one of them's jealous. 
Ooh, ye, whoa, it's a whole story coming out there. Oh, you, 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 I'm just gonna have to pick up some like totally there and protect myself. Wow, this person's jealous. Somebody fair haired. Very attractive, beautiful. Uh, just on the outside though. Inside, they're very different from what they look like on the outside. They have very fleeting moments of kindness and loveliness that they show a lot of people, but they are very different in reality. They're poisonous and jealous, especially this person. So your person's thinking everything through and they're like, I can't, uh, it's, they're sort of thinking more about why they can't and that they're trapped. Looking back to this, that they're trapped. We've got the Hierophant in the reverse. They're thinking things over. And making a lot of bad decisions. Why is death here in the near future? Death is an ending and a new beginning. I have to say, death's looking pretty pleased with himself. Well, right. What is that song that's coming to my head? <laughs> You ever seen that film, um, the 1960s version of uh, uh, Romeo and Juliet? And there's this bit at the party where this like young man comes in to sing and he sings, The rose will bloom and then will fade. As does the youth, as does the fairest maid. Oh, I got chills. What is this? This is how this person feels. And I don't think it's got anything to do with that song, but that song has come into my head as the, the universe is trying to tell me how they feel via a song. They feel... past their youth. They feel, I'm too long in the tooth for this, is, I, they feel like their youth is faded and they don't, it's almost like they, it's, it's very difficult for them to deal with all of this because, not because it's beneath them, not that, it's, it's because I've done all of this, I've done it, I've done it before, I don't want to have to go through this again, I don't want to have my heart broken again, I don't want to deal with love again, I've been here. And they feel like they're fading. I don't think they're dying. That's not it. I don't, I've, I think as a reader, I've been a reader for a long time and with death, I've only picked up somebody actually dying twice. And I've been reading cards since the nineties. So it's, uh, it comes to us all. Yeah. But in reading, sitting here doing it because I do love readings. I've only ever picked it up twice. And I'd be like, oh, let's, uh, let's avoid that. But I feel like this person feels like... <sighs> I've, I've had to deal with this before and I, 
I've said before, this is the last time I'm not going to do this again. And here they are having to do this again. And this is one of the problems that they faced. And this is one of the problems. And this is one of the reasons why they've cut communication. Because I feel like they said to themselves last time they got their heart broken. That's that. Not doing it again. That's it. And they don't want to make themselves vulnerable again. I think they're perhaps in a relationship or something where they don't want to have to end it, even if they're not happy, because they're like, well, I don't want to make myself vulnerable again. I... It feels like I can't see. I don't know. I can't really. Maybe. Maybe I see a really. Yeah. The more I look at it, I'm like, oh, yeah, it does look like they're in a commitment with somebody. Take it how it resonates. It could be a life situation that they're in, but it sort of looks like. What I'm seeing is when they got into a relationship of this most recent person, not you, the other person that they're in a relationship with now that I see, they said, this is the last time. I'm not going to do this again. This is, this is, this is it. I'm settling down now. I'm not going to have my heart broken again. I feel like they almost kind of settled for somebody uh not as attractive as them so that this person wouldn't break their heart and they'd always be there it sort of feels like and then there was you and none of this makes any sense because i've made my mind up i'm not going to go through this again but then there was you. Oh, Jesus. Then there was you. Why? Because you <laughs> universe kind of thing. What did you have to bring this person along for? Like... They are fighting. They are fighting within themselves. And probably making themselves sick. Has your love been ill of late? They're probably making themselves ill. Excuse me. They are fighting tooth and nail to not follow their heart. And, uh, It doesn't look good for them, I'm going to be honest. You can't fight what the heart wants. And they do. They, you're their wish fulfillment. They want you. You're all they ever wanted. But they, they are controlling the situation I must have control over this situation I'm not going to give in I made myself a promise that this was the last time and I'm not going to go through this again they're adamant about it but what the heart wants the heart wants and their heart wants you it sort of looks like with the death in the reading here, it, there's nothing they can do. They want you. So they, this whole fighting this has to end. Otherwise, it's going to end them. They can't keep fighting it. They try, they're trying. They are, I am in control here. I am the person in control. I am not going to give in to this person that I'm hopelessly in love with and I can't get them out of my head. I can't stop thinking about them. They're all I freaking think about ever, all the time. Oh my God, I don't... 
<sighs> Rest and rejuvenation. This is for them. This isn't for you. I'm just seeing this is what they need. They stop fighting themselves. The seventh chakra. The uh, crown chakra. They need to stop fighting their instincts. It is written in the stars above. I just feel like they need to go deep. If this is your twin flame, if they need to go deep, then you need to go deep. And that's the only way they're going to go deep is if you do. So get some rest. Rejuvenate. Meditate your butt off. Okay. It's absolutely essential that you have a dream diary and you start writing your dreams down because those are messages from the universe. From your ancestors. I, months and months and months ago, had a dream where I was standing, it was the 70s, I was standing, my grandma was fitting a dress to me. She had little needles in her mouth and she was fitting a dress to me. We were going to a party at my grandparents' best friend's house, the Bennetts. And uh, my grandma, she's like, takes the pins out of her mouth and she looks up at me, she's like, you look great. I'm like, Thank you, it's, it's, I like this dress. She's like, you need to wear more purple. I wrote it down. I wrote the entire dream down. It's only in the last week that that dream has completely made sense to me. I need to wear more purple. So I I start to wear more purple. I'm like, okay, this is good. I need to wear... But no, it wasn't that at all. I had to think about it. I had to get... I, and last week... Uh, oh, I just got a message from a dude. <laughs> Not the one I want though. So last week, I'm I'm looking at guided meditations, and one comes up: uh, the purple flame, how to transmute negative feelings into positive feelings. I'm like, oh my freaking god! And all through it, it's like like as you're meditating, imagine that you're surrounded by purple flame. I'm like I need to wear more purple. I need to surround myself with the purple flame. Oh my god, it makes so much sense now. Thank you, Grandma. Write your dreams down. At some point, they're going to make sense to you. I just got a message from a dude who I'm absolutely not going to go on a date with. <laughs> Isn't that funny? So you're here with me in this moment. He was like, oh yeah, I think we're supposed to go out tomorrow. But he hasn't messaged me. So like, now he's just messaged me. Yeah, it's been days, and I'm like, N no. I'm just gonna say, lol, no. <laughs> so <that laughs> say, yeah, so let's go out tomorrow. I think he's just looking for some action that he's not gonna get because he hasn't been trying to woo me or court me in this time. So, no, actually. I'm gonna take your time to message somebody for a couple of days then oh, lol no anyway back to the reading we're pals you and me i just you know felt like i needed to share that with you anyway so write your dreams down they're going to start making sense to you if this is a twin flame connection which it looks very much like I would definitely say if you start doing the work, then that benefits them. They're get you're, you're the same soul, so any work you do on yourself, it's helping them. Okay. So best you can hope for. Oh, oh really? Oh really? Page of cups, huh? So pages, messages synchronicities or oh, this this one in particular is about synchronicities it's about 
uh, messages, beginnings, uh, tell me more. Somebody's in the way. Somebody's in the way. But I've really got hope that I can be with you. Oh, but I'm going through so much stuff and I didn't want to do this and none of this makes any sense, but I'm crazy about you, but they can't do anything. Somebody's in the way. It's freaking tormenting me. But I love you, Libra. What do I do? There's nothing I can do, I just gotta wait. So you're like, okay, you take your time, baby. You do what you gotta do, thanks. Thanks for finally contacting me. You just do what you gotta do. I'm here, don't worry, you go about your business. Thank you for finally making things very clear to me. I'm here if you need a shoulder to cry on. For once. Look it up. I want you to. I know this is my job and this is what I do, but I want you to read it. I want you to. It's beautiful. This is harmony. Look at those four ones there. That looks like 1111. Mmm. Look it up. Please. I want you to. It's, it's, it's gonna make you feel good. Four of Wands and then 11, 11. You take your time, you're going to get your Four of Wands, baby. You take your time and let them do what they've got to do. They're going to have their Tower moment. And anything that wasn't built correctly on solid ground is going to topple. Not you, though, because you're there. Them, they got the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. That's like it's an imbalance. It's a uh, an imbalance in the commitments that they have. I don't take flying cards. In the imbalance that they have in their commitments, they have a new beginning. Oh, they really start following their. I can't be. I cut my fingernails two days ago now and I still can't pick anything up the High Priestess they're going to start following their instincts and, and things that are imbalanced in their life we're going to start falling away they can't let you go they love you, they want you they can't get you out of their head and yet there's this feeling still I've done this. I made a promise to myself I'm not going to go through this again. They, they want to protect themselves, but they love you. So what do they do? Ah! They have to make a decision. Do I move forwards and be with the person I love? Or do I stay in a situation because I made myself a stupid promise that I wasn't going to be vulnerable again? Oh, God! Uh... I'm going to take it into the extended in a second where I'm going to ask how this person feels about you, Libra. Where are you in their heart space? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? Some guidance from the universe. And when the hell is this going to happen, huh? Nothing is yet set in stone. So, did anyone else see my neighbor taking a leak? Dude. Sit down or something. It's not fun. Emotions are running high. Hell yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you guys don't need to hear that. Um, I think it's set in stone. I feel like that's got to do with this person's in a relationship. Don't worry about it. Double life by the cars. You think it's a phase, but it's all gonna happen to you. Anything and everything can happen to you. And that can mean 
being with the person that you love if you just keep believing in it. Double Life is a very sad and sexy song all at the same time. It's all about if you uh, if you make mistakes and you do things behind someone's back, you're going to get caught. And that's kind of what's going to happen to this person if they do what they want to do with you behind their spouse's or partner's back. They need to make a decision. They need to make, make a decision that's going to make them happy. It's not about you. It's not about their partner. It's about them being happy in themselves. You don't live this life for other people, do you? Alright, my loves. I'm going to take this into extended. If you want to watch that, take a look. In the description box below, there's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Bye!